He is media personality, a popular wag and his five-person mother, and now Rebecca Vardy talks about the trauma he endured as Jehovah's Witness and experience he likes to be cult. The 41-year-old media personality, who is married to British footballer Jamie Vardy, dug in a painful past in a documentary for British Channel 4. He also played role a reporter for documentary, interviewed some of former Jehovah's Witnesses, and tried to confront movement in Centre Essex. I call it cult, he said to Mail on Sunday. He continued to call it dangerous. Rebecca Vardy spoke about traumatic childhood. In his childhood, he explained that he was not a Christmas or Christmas. Books and television programs were censored if there was a sworn word, the TV was closed instantly. We were dragging from Parliament at the school because we could not say hymns or could not refer to religion, he said. The elderly judged him and his wide family and removed people from their communities. This caused to silence news that Rebecca had been sexually harassed from the age of 12. He believes that his mother keeps things silent because is afraid of being brought to family. He said that many members of Jehovah's Witness community were told and that Rebecca was called a meeting when he was a young. Rebecca husband Jamie Vardy. Im felt that I wasn't good enough, deserved it. He had a great impact on him and attempted suicide at the age of 14. He was made homeless after five-year-old family, until job that earns enough money to rent room in BB. He said he didn't talk to his mother in seven years. The documentary comes a few months later, when last wag Colleen Rooney, who accused the globally infamous court case, who accused secrets of leaking his secrets from private Instagram account. In the Royal Justice Courts of Rebecca, against Strand Colleen Rooney in London, the court found that Colleen's statements were largely right ve, and that Rebecca lost and received a legal invoice worth approximately $5.6 million. The documentary is published on Tuesday at local hours.